So this is my player profile. Um, the part time smart I used was 20 years of age. He had a height of 179 centimeters. He weighed 78 kgs and he had a body mass index of 24.3. Um, overall, comparing the post and pre-test, um, he did better in the post-test compared to the pre-test for every aspect. Um, so the aspects we use, as you can see, were the vertical jump, ball jump, sit and reach, 20 meter sprint, yo-yo, and 505 test. Um, Comparing to the comparative data, however, um, he did do better in everything apart from the sit and reach test. So the mean that we gathered from the comparative data was 38, and the most this um, athlete got was 30 centimetres, um, suggesting he needs to work on his flexibility. Um, when looking at the z-score, so this shows how far and um, how many far, uh, points away from the mean, so standard deviation um, he is. Keep in mind, just because there's a negative in these instances does not mean it's worse. Um, in those areas, the, the less time you have, because it's a speed test, um, the better. Um, so that shows um, his post-test results compared with the, the comparative data which we use to get a mean of everything. So this athlete decides to do a wide grip just past the shoulders. Um, after that, he puts the bar atop of his trapezius. Um, a good idea to, at this point, once he's lifted the bar, is to pull, pull the bar um, down into his body. Um, this would uh, therefore build tension. Um, he's now positioned his feet under the bar while the bar is still on the rack. Um, his feet are slightly too close together, which means when he comes back, uh, steps back, sorry, for his um, actual lift, he's going to have to readjust his feet. Um, bar placement is slightly too high as well. So right now, in that um, scenario, you want to take as few steps back as possible, therefore to waste um, little energy. You can also tell here he's kind of moving his legs around a lot, um, that he wastes energy. Before that um, lift, he did a good job of inhaling. Um, this is good to do before squat, and then at the start of the squat, he brought his hips back, which is also good. Can be good depth, um, bringing his knees well past 90 degrees. Um, the side angle shows that he could um, lift his chest a little more. But again, this angle here would definitely show his knees are not going past his toes and he's going well past the 90 degree. That's on the way up and he's at 90 now. So it's a good job there. So this angle here, you can see that when he goes down for a squat, you can see in the mirror that his knees they stay strong. They're almost kind of bending outwards, which is not ideal, but at the same time, it's not a bad thing. The main concern is when your knees buckle inwards to turn in medially. Um, in this instance, they're staying strong. This is because he's pushing with his knees laterally and making sure his knees stay strong throughout the squat. Athlete's feet are facing forward. Um, this is good. You don't want um, their feet facing inward or outward because their knees tend to follow. Um, and that's bad. Neat. Um, he's chosen an alternative grip with his hands, which has been, um, as you can see, one palm is facing towards and one palm is facing away. Uh, you can choose between pronate, which means your palms are facing you, the lifter, or uh, overhand grip, which is when your fingers wrap around your thumbs. Um, this is going with a wide grip, which is just past the shoulder blades. You notice when I play it here that he takes a breath in between uh, before his lift. Um, this is a good habit to get into. Goes up quite quickly. Um, this could be due to the um, weight of the bar, but you can tell that he's bringing his hips into the bar at the peak of his lift. Um, this is also something good to get into the habit of doing. Go into the side view. When he comes down, you could have tell just then, but we'll play it again that um, he doesn't bend his knees quite enough. So he's bending he's bending more at the um at the hips rather than his knees as means his chest lingers uh sorry goes past his feet. Whereas you want your chest to stay in between your feet, like he is now at the starting position. So you want your chest to stay in line with the middle of your feet, in between your feet at all times, on your way up and down. Um, on the way down there you can see that are kind of going just in front of his feet where you want it to be around here. A good way to get around this problem is to pretend that you have a pole running through the middle of your chest and in between your feet, then you have to move up and down that pole. Um, this ensures that the athlete stays in the correct technique throughout the whole entirety of the lift. Athlete starts off with a knee bent at 90 degrees, sitting down on a box. Um, although this athlete has arms crossed, that is not essential. Um, when he goes to push off, he does a good job of pushing through his heels, not through his toes. Um, and Nice control on his way back down. Slight um, assistance from leaning upper body, um, but mainly pushing through his heels and using his leg. Um, frontal angle shows that he's got good knee stability, 
being controlled on the way up and down and his knees aren't moving literally or medially um, either way and fully extension on the way up. Strong starting position with his hands in push up um, position. Um, the feet plantar flexion uh, and the tops of the feet resting on the Swiss ball. You see right there he's got quite a strong position with his legs fully extended. Um, his hips uh, in good position but his core is a bit weak causing his back to slightly round um, that being said it's not too bad um, he brings his knees to his body and back out that's nicely controlled that's probably the pace you're looking for in terms of this exercise the more he does it you can see his hips are slightly getting higher and higher um, again this could be because of the need requirement of a stronger core and if you just look at that last bit again this is causing his back to get more and more round Start in a stagger position or running position. Uh, dropped back knee is, at, is also at 90 degrees as well as the arms and the leg. Um, in this instance, the back arm should be at 90 degrees, so you should have flex in that elbow, but in this case he's not. Um, but everything else is at 90 degrees, which is good. Um, you'll notice that whichever leg is forward, the alternate arm is also forward, so hence the running position. Um, when he begins the action, Switches arms and legs, so which one's in front? Again, that Charlie arm should be bent at 90 degrees, um, but it's not. Um, everything else is at 90 degrees though, which is good. Then you're just switching stances.